The most distant emissary of humanity delivers a message that will survive billions of years in the vastness of interstellar space. In August 1977, 45 years ago, an incredible spacecraft set out on a trip unlike any other. Voyager 2 was intended to show us, for the first time, what the planets in the outer solar system looked like up close, and it was like sending a fly to New York City and requesting a report. On September 5th, Voyager 1 followed Voyager 2. A golden record bearing greetings, sounds, sights, and music from Earth was attached to the flank of each Voyager. The spacecrafts were nearly identical, but their paths and scientific instrumentation differed. After passing through Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 accelerated into interstellar space. Voyager 2 stayed behind to undertake the first ever visit to the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. When Voyager 2 arrived at Uranus in 1986, it saw delicate blue-green clouds and a potential black spot, which was subsequently verified by the Hubble Space Telescope. A strange magnetic field pulled a corkscrew trail of particles behind the planet as it rolled in its orbit. Ten new moons, including the grey cratered Puck and two new coal black rings, were identified. Three years later, Voyager 2 arrived at Neptune and returned photographs of turquoise and cobalt clouds whirled by winds of up to 18,000 kilometers an hour. A storm the size of Earth was represented by a slate-colored, huge black patch. Triton, the biggest moon, was pink from methane ice and emitted geysers of frozen nitrogen. Since then, no spacecraft has returned. Even more than these images of distant ice worlds, what fascinates people about the Voyager mission is the famous golden records. For nearly a year, a group led by visionary astronomer Carl Sagan assembled objects to portray planet Earth. The music gets the most attention as the universe's mixed tape, but it's not the only standout. Messages were recorded in 55 different languages. Some are ancient languages that have not been heard on Earth for thousands of years, such as Akkadian and Hittite. Greetings, peace, and friend are the most frequently used words. Janet Sternberg's Portuguese greeting is simple, peace and happiness to everybody. Finally in 2018, Voyager 2 joined Voyager 1 beyond the heliopause, where solar wind is repelled by interstellar winds. Our galaxy spans 100,000 light years, and Voyager 2 is presently around 18 light hours from Earth. Both spacecraft broadcast ready signals between the planets to the three antenna that are still listening, Tidbin Billa, Goldstone, and Madrid. Before they can fully go, the Voyagers will have to journey for another 20,000 years through the Oort Cloud, a massive black disk of frozen particles that surrounds the solar system. Slowly, Voyager 2 systems are being turned off in order to preserve as much power as possible. However, by the 2030s there will be none remaining. Even when Voyager 2 ceases transmission, it will not be entirely decommissioned. The half-life of the plutonium-238 in its nuclear power source is 87.7 years, whereas the Golden Records little patch of uranium-238 coating is 4.5 billion years. Both components are gradually transforming into lead. On a cosmic scale, the radioactive transformation of elements is a type of reverse alchemy. This transformation will continue until there is nothing left aboard Voyager 2 to be changed. Because it is traveling through diverse areas of interstellar space, constant bombardment by dust particles will progressively degrade the surfaces of Voyager 2. However, after 5 billion years, its golden record should be largely readable. Even a hundred years from now, the Earth shown on the golden records will most likely be unrecognizable. The spacecraft and its archives will be preserved as an incomplete archaeological record in the unforeseeable future. While the golden records are endlessly intriguing, the Voyager's actual cultural value rests in their position. The spacecraft serve as physical marks of humanity's interaction with the universe. It will be like losing a sensation if the Voyager stopped transmitting. There is no replacement for being there. Telescopes can only show us so much. Who will follow in their footsteps? And as always, if you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, Check out our previous videos and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.